Hey YouTube family, Captain Dan here with the Florida Fishing Couple, as you probably already know. And today we're going to do something a little different because the weather's been a little crazy again lately. Very, very windy. Um, and I had uh, the, the fine opportunity for the folks at Vivor to send me a trolling motor. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any kind of boat to put a trolling motor on. So what I'm going to do is I've kind of worked the deal with Heiko and said, Dude, I need your help. And of course, he's got some little skiffs and that kind of stuff over there. We're gonna put this thing through its paces. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a very simple, uh, very, very simple engine. There's not a lot of bells and whistles on it, but I think that this thing would do really, really well. And we're gonna use it in the future with like um, boards that have the capability of putting on an electric motor. So we're gonna take this thing through its paces. It's relatively inexpensive. You can find it on Amazon. We're gonna put it in the description link down there. Um, we don't make any money off of that thing. We're just gonna just run this thing through its paces. And if it works, I think the point is, is that if it works, you can buy one of these, put it on a blow up model, or put it on a, on a paddle board, and actually get out and go do some fishing on your own. Very, very inexpensively. Um, but again, we're gonna put it through its paces and see whether or not it's worth the 200 bucks or so that, that, that it costs. It, it's very simple as you can see, it's got, the, it's got the positive negative, it's got some adjustments on here, but for the most part, it's on and off, the, it came with the prop, and one nut, that was it. I mean, this is a very simple, simple process. Um, but if it's powerful enough, and if it lasts long enough, we're gonna take it out in the back country today, and we're gonna see what it can do. So, follow me, it's gonna be a very different, very interesting day. We got the Hikemeister getting ready, we got some live shrimp going on, we're gonna try to catch some snapper maybe some tarpon, and, uh, and just see how this thing goes. And if it goes well, then this might be something that you want to take advantage of in the future when you come on down, or where you live as well. All right, follow me. Oh, and don't forget, we got some great bloopers at the end. So stick around to the end of this. Um, <laughs> we know you'll be entertained by the bloopers. All right, so I'm on my way to Heiko's place. We're gonna try to this uh, new trolling motor out. I'm pretty excited about it because uh, it's something different and something simple, and it is something that I could use on a very small skiff to get out into the bay if the thing actually, you know, performs as, as, as well as I would like it. And then I think for you all, for, um, you know, any subscribers that are coming down that don't really have a boat, this would be a great way that you could either rent a small skiff, even bring up a blow-up, like a little, um, what do they call those, little blow-up uh, 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 boats. I used to have one, like a little Zodiac, you know, that has a, a trolling mount or a, a men an engine mount on the back, and you just slap that thing together, put it on a battery. You can get the small battery packs now that uh, would be light, and you could use that thing if it works, which we're going to find out. You could probably use that thing all day and then just charge it up at night and then go back out the next day. So on my way now, but I got this. You ever had that feeling when you leave to go fishing and I forgot something? And I always forget something. One thing, at least, I'll forget. And now I'm looking at my gate, and I see my gate is open, but I'm also worried about what else I might have forgotten. But. All right, well, we're gonna find out. All right, let me get over there. I gotta get some live shrimp, and then we're gonna head out over uh, Heiko's house. Ha, I knew it. I knew I forgot something, and it's like, what did I forget? What did I forget? Well, thank God I didn't get all the way there before I remembered, so. It's my feet. I don't wanna be wearing flip-flops all day today on a skiff, because really two things, lots of hooks, and the sun. It beats down, you can burn your feet. So I always like to try to wear something I might not wear the boots. I don't think I'm gonna wear my extra tufts because that's a little, that's overkill. Maybe I will, I don't know. It's either extra tufts or water shoes. And I'm kind of leaning towards the water shoes because they're a little bit more comfortable. But I'll be damned. I know every time I go, I forget something. Sometimes it's more traumatic than others. Sometimes I can get away with it. One time I left the dock, got all the way out on the water and didn't have a tackle bag at all. So all I had was one rod that was rigged up with one jig and that's what I went fishing with. So luckily I didn't lose the jig that day. All right, anyway, let me go get some proper footwear um, so I don't kill myself today. Okay, I opted for my uh, Sequay water shoes just because um, I know it's gonna probably get wet in there and I think the boots might be a little too hot. So listen, here's the deal. When you come down, the, the weather is, I mean, could be different and the weather could be hot. It could be just so different from where you live. You need the proper gear not just the fishing gear, but also the apparel. I mean, you know, make sure that you bring, you know, you bring in sunblock. Um, a couple of, you know, a couple hours on the water with a few beers, and no sunblock, you turn into a piece of bacon. 
and make sure you got the proper shoes. I mean, you know, one thing that could ruin a day is a hook in the foot. So, you know, all those things that we show you uh, that we try, the things that we continue to use, we will promote. And the things that you never see, <laughs> the stuff that just winds up uh, in the garbage can. So anyway, uh, short little uh, segue into Seekway shoes just because I like using them and it's summertime. All right, on my way, way, gotta get some live shrimp and then uh, finally get over to uh, Heiko's house. I know I forgot, you know what, I'm feeling good. I feel like I haven't forgotten anything else. I think I got it all now. So got license, fishing license, blah, 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 fishing rod, tiny little electric motor. Yeah, I think life, life is good. I think we're in, we're in good shape, so all right. Follow me. We're about to we're about to make an epic day. I just have a feeling about that. I think it's going to be good. So the first thing we're going to do is go check out uh, Captain Pete's. It's a good buddy of mine, and we're going to see if he's got live shrimp. And if he doesn't have any more live shrimp, then he's not a good buddy of mine. I'm going to be like, hey, dude, our relationship is over. Time to get some shrimp. There's the setup. There's the shrimp. I'm going to get some water out of here. Put it in my bucket. I got three. Three dozen out of there. Go catch fish, you know what I mean? Chicken. Well, keep me busy anyway. How's it going in here? Good. Quiet these days? No, it's busier than you. Alright. <laughs> okay, perfect. Alright, buddy, thanks. Right. Have a super day. Alright, ready to test this thing out? Yeah, let's give her let's a go. Go. All right, we'll see. I have high hopes. What you drinking there? Coffee. A little, yeah. a little late in the afternoon. I, I had a late. Did you just get up or what? Well, no, you know, it's, just, it's been a... All right, got a little Kahlua in there or something? Nope. All right, good. Good deal. Well, I'll bring it up, bring it up all the way over there, right? Yeah. And then we got to get that one off. Or do we? Yeah, we'll take that one off and we'll slap yours on. Okay. That would be easy. Oh, Before, tough tools, half price. Boom. That's a cute little motor too. That's not the one you got from eBay though, right? No. This one I got from Orlando. My subscriber sold it to me. And I think it's been running like a champ. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's heavy. Or yeah. heavier than this. Hey, we should probably find a battery for this. All right, and then that, these, these adjusters right here, yeah, how far do they go? Will they go all the way enough? Yeah, it looks like they will, right? Yeah, yeah it's just like that motor, it's okay. the same thing. All right, so. Smartest thing Heiko's ever said to me in my whole life. Let's hook it to a battery first before we hook it up to the boat. <laughs> like we said, we have no idea. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm hoping. I got fingers crossed. It fits right on there perfectly on that terminal. If you didn't have those kind of terminals, then what would we do? Then you'd have to get like clamps maybe. Yeah, you'd have to get clamps. And does that one have the same type of terminals? Yeah, pretty much. Same size? Okay. Shit, that's a beast. Yep. Holy crap. This thing will last all day. That could run your house. I think this can power a electric motor for 36 hours. Run time. Okay, nice. I'm gonna hook them on there and I'll hold it. Oh, this way, this way. Okay, oh. something happened. I heard that beep. Beep. Let me tighten those screws. Alright, you. Alright, see. Go ahead. 
see so, if that So works. there should be a thing, right? Isn't there a, like a indicator? Is there an indicator on there? A red light indicator or anything? I don't see anything. All right, turn the handle. I'll hold it. Let's see if I don't right. kill myself. There it goes. It's almost lining up with the ones that you had in there. All right. You're there. Easy peasy. All right. Screwed right on. All right. Now, does this adjust this at all? The length of the like, yeah, what's this for? Yeah, looks like it. Or Probably the up and down. I don't know. This one, this one stabilizes this thing. Aha! There's an up and down. I just saw it move. Oh, so that's it. That's as deep as it goes. Okay, well that's pretty deep. We don't want it to go that deep. Nice. Well, I mean that was easy enough. Just slapped it right on the back. All right, undo this. This gives it some kind of adjustment here. Now and then this, this goes down. To the battery. This is a pretty big John boat for, uh, for this, right? So if it can handle us and this John boat, probably go flying on the kayak. Aha, there it is. Yeah. So that gives you battery indicator. See it? I don't see it. You don't see any red here? Uh-uh. Okay, no, 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 I don't know. What does it say, warning, something warning. If the battery has less than three stars, press, please charge the battery. Well, we have a second battery just in case. Okay. Right? Is this battery dead? Could be a dead battery. Maybe that's why it was so slow. Hmm. I should probably check how much voltage is on this battery. Mm -hmm. I think that might be our issue. Shoot, this could be a dead battery actually. Mm hmm Well, we got it all adjusted. We got it all set, ready to go. So here's the deal. It was the first time, so we didn't know what we were doing, but second time would be no, no problem. So it goes straight back to the transom. It has a adjustive, so it comes out of the water. We'll be able to put it down and drop it straight down. And then the battery is just anywhere you want it to be, anywhere to keep it dry. And here comes battery B. All right, yeah, another battery. Let's <laughs> another see. Another battery. Battery This one B. should be charged. Lesson learned. Always try it with a charged battery. If you try it with a dead battery, chances are, chances are, it's not going to get you very far. Do you, agree, do you agree with that? Unless you have one of those special self-charging batteries. Yeah. Which hasn't been invented yet. Well, All right. So here we go. We're shoving off. Heiko says the boat is loaded down. So. If this trolling motor can even move the boat a little bit, <laughs> it'll be surprising. We do have oars, correct? We do have two oars in the boat. All right. Wow. It is not even floating. It's just like. Boom. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, we'll see. That's because we got. 25 pounds of shrimp, camera gear. All right, it's floating now, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> what, do you, what do you want next? This I'll put back here. And then my little tackle box. Uh, put that here. That's just a bunch of hookers. All right. Bunch of hookers. Do you want to uh, drive your engine around? Uh, yeah, let's shovel off first. Let's get the shrimp before we forget oh, the shrimp. Yeah. Perfecto. All right now. You could pour those shrimp in here, actually. Yeah, that, that thing works pretty well. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. Yep. 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 Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, first things first, right? We gotta lower it into the water. Yep. Lower it down. Okay. Look at that. Well, we're going against the wind now, aren't we? Yeah. If we bring it around. So it's got reverse. All right. Now we're gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back to uh, to uh, neutral. All right. Now I'm in neutral. Now slam it in gear. <laughs> hey, there we go. I'm not used to this. I gotta watch the bow of the boat. Oh, that's why. That's why you're supposed to be bass backwards when you yeah, do this, you're right? Yeah, supposed to be facing the uh, facing me. All right. Well, it's it's seemingly getting us along here. We are moving. All right, well, look, we got current behind the boat. All right. 
Uh oh. That's my steering disability. There we go. Okay. So we're we're cruising right in here. Look at this. Look at this water. Beautiful water. This is awesome, man. Now imagine this on a on a small blow up, like a like a little yeah. Zodiac, you know, one of those little ones that people use for their big boats, you know, to get on yeah. and off the, you know, on and off their um, when they're um, moored. Yeah, from their sailboats, this would be good. That. This is great. On a kayak, this thing would probably. Stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Or a board. This is great. Nice and quiet too. I mean, it's really quiet. We're moving good. <laughs> I've adjusted it now a couple of times. So I put it a little bit further down under the boat, and then I adjusted this down a little so it's a little bit more comfortable for me. But actually, I could probably adjust it down even one more and have it down here. So it's easier to just kind of maneuver. And the adjustment's simple as pie, man. It's just this. Do this, pop it, and then do this. And now it's even, yeah, now it's even, now it's even nicer to move. I like it's it. More comfortable. It's great. And it, I like that it's all black. It looks sleek. Some trolling motors look kind of goofy, like bubbly. We're getting, we're getting a yeah, we're getting real shallow. Are you hitting? A little bit. A little bit? Yep, actually hit a little bit, but still going strong. All right, we're still going. Well, it's good. We want to battle test it. Absolutely. Ram it through the grass. Let's do it here today. I don't want to baby it. Let's find a big coral head and slam right into it. Bam. Bop. Okay, so this is where the tarpon should be like right in this pocket come on tarpon show yourselves well we could anchor up there and just chum and see if we can get something to come up come on, right here I remember where they were yeah that's like and the snappers are like up under those roots yep. good one mm. Mm, come on oh get him I heard him splashing in there big fish. oh wait a minute he's on there it's a small fish. It's it's just more stuff. He, he might be an all right size fish. He might be all right. Do you need a net? I don't know. Where is he? He's in that. It can't be that big. Then. Well, I lose him. Wait, no. Did he come him. off? Yeah, I think he came off. No, he's <laughs> not in there. I saw his tail oh, flapping around. Oh, I saw him too. Oh, no. He was a he was a good sized fish. Man. He ran Shit, me in. Shit, he looked good. His tail was big. He ran my ass in there. You're on. Yeah. Hey, that he's you know. Yeah. I mean, it's uh. It's back it, country, man. All right. That's a keeper. And the circle hook work. Get my shirt back. <laughs> right. Nice. Cool. Catching them fish. You're lucky, Uncle Dan caught you. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Look, he's spitting out a, yeah, a I shrimp. Want shrimp back. Thank you. Thank you very much. He took it off at the head, you notice? Yeah. Beautiful. All right, cool. Adios. Go get mama. Yeah, where's big mama bear? You just got hammered? Hammered. I'm waiting for him to come. I, that was the perfect cast. I bet he was sitting there watching it. He must have watched it just sink down. He just hammered it. Yeah, nice. Oh. He's right in that area. I think he took, my, he took me for a ride. Oh! Oh! I'm on! <laughs> yes, you are! Yes. Nice. Feisty little guy. He was a feister. All right, so they're right in that shade. I think during the day they look for shade. You're on? Was. Was on. Let me go. I'm afraid to let him take it and run, you know? Yeah, yeah, you don't want him to run. So I tried to hit him back. Oh, there we go. He came back. He's small fish. Small fish. Oh, my God. Okay, no, I didn't get anything. <laughs> you, nothing? No, I didn't get anything. No, there's a no, fish on it. No, 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 Let's see not. it. Let's see the fish. No, 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 there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the bait's bigger than him, for God's sake. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I think mine was a little bit smaller than that one. You got some nerve. Wow. Nope. Oh, we're so good at dropping fish. There's one good thing. We haven't gotten bit yet. Yeah. Oh, mine's going to get eight right away. That was a perfect cast. I'm on. 
Oh no, he stole my shrimp. That's the money shot. That's the money shot. This okay. is. Ain't gonna be immediate. Here it goes. Right this, here. See oh. did it. Yep. Sure enough. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Here's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. That is a good one. That's a good one. Nice. I'm happy with this one. Oh, stud oh, muffin. Yeah, oh stuff. my God. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. That's is very nice. Let's not munch on Danny's uh, little fingers. I think this is a keeper. What do you think? Yeah, that is a keeper for sure. Look at that sucker. All right, we're headed back right now, but this thing has performed magnificently. I'm absolutely amazed. She has done a super job. Non-stop. Backwards and forwards. Man, I, all right. I would never would have thought it. And I think I think we want to say it listed on Amazon for $140. Does that sound right? $140-something dollars. We're going to check. We'll show it to you in the video. But uh, And then for the slightly larger one, still under $200. So highly recommended at this point. This thing's, this thing's pretty amazing. He said something about if he had just bought his skiff and didn't have his Minn Kota, that he would be definitely down for this. Here we have our snapper and an extra little uh, scallop that we had in the freezer. You know how we love to just incorporate whatever seafood we have on hand. This recipe is super easy. It's just paprika, hot mustard. Uh, we use a Coleman's dried mustard powder and hot chili flakes and a little bit of garlic. Into the Easy Bake Oven it goes. No sense in heating up your whole house. That's very close. What do you think? Uh, I think maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, I agree. Ready to go. So, what do you think? Just looking at it. It looks really good. It smells really good. This is my one of my favorite recipes. I know we've showed it on here before, but we wanted to try it on snapper because we've been getting more into backcountry fishing and just want to see if we like it this way. Okay, instantly, it kind of like made like a little crust on the top because there's like so much of the seasoning on there. It is very good. I love this. It's super simple, super easy. About how long do you think it took? Well, to actually make the rub was nothing. Just. I mean, to cook it. Um, 12 minutes. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. I'm also gonna try, we've got one scallop here. This came from our subscriber, Joyce. Uh, she shared some scallops with Heiko and with us. Mm, smells great, look at that scallop. So with the rub, it's good too? Mm hmm that rub is just versatile. I mean, it's just good. It's so simple and it's delicious. Yeah, it really is amazing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and eat some lunch, but thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate our subscribers so much. Cannot tell you how much we enjoy interacting with you when you leave the comments and then meeting you in person. We've met so many of you recently and uh, you all are just a hoot. Love getting to know you. So subscribe and We'll see you next time. You know what to do. Follow us. Yeah, get those terminals nice and soaked. <laughs> Soak them up with salt water. That's always good for them. All right. Life is good, right? Life is great. Look at you. Cup just, of coffee, some shade. Just chilling. You got it made, man. Nice little breeze. You got it made. Look at you. Jeez. How does it get better than this? Hmm. Should I make a list? <laughs> we'll work on it. Why are we still stuck? This boat usually floats an inch in the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are loaded though. Yeah, I picked up a few pounds this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have to pick up a couple of pounds. There we go. Yeah, that can go a little deeper. Okay, that's what she said always. Stud muffins on. <laughs> I'm, and I'm wearing my girly shorts. I'm trying. I'm trying not to uh, show too much leg here. <laughs> and there's something hanging out of your. <laughs> <laughs> it's my shrimp. They're shrimp. <laughs> I had it.
and his glass. That might have been the same fish that grabbed mine and went in. No, no, no. No? No, no, no mine was bigger than me. Oh. <laughs> How dare you try to claim my fish? <laughs> that was my fish. Now he's got two hooks in his mouth. Oh wait, no, no you got oh, your. No, got oh, hook. you got your hook back. Okay. It is paprika. <coughs> my God. <coughs> Don't chop my head off. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna eat some lunch. Thank you guys so much. We love you so much. So much, so much, so much, Lord. Okay.